I'm AC Brown, and you're listening to Is My Aura On Straight, a podcast designed to help you start living from your core instead of your conditioning. Each week, we'll discuss topics ranging from human design, astrology, metaphysics, spiritual self-development, and everything in between. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Is My Aura On Straight. I am your host, AC Brown. I am your psychic channel, spiritual guide, and entrepreneur. And I want to thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Is My Aura On Straight. I'm back. I know it's been a long time. I was going to call this season two, but I didn't like that. So we're just going to pick up where we left off at and happy 2020, everyone. Um, I know you haven't heard from me since the last year. And boy, have things changed <laughs> around here, in the world, everywhere. Um, but I wanted to start this new quarter off um, with new episodes coming to you consistently. I took a major break that was unexpected. And we're going to talk about that. And as you can see from the title, it's called Failing Into 2020. And I'm not looking at my break or anything that's happening or what's going on in the world as necessarily a failure. But things have drastically changed in the world for myself. Um, And I want to talk about it. Um, I've been showing up just trickling in during the month of March. Um with content but you know I'm gonna hit it hard because I I needed a break and I want to talk to you about that um when I talk about failing into 2020 so at the end of the year of 2019 I started getting really really clear about who I was as a psychic channel as a spiritual guide as an entrepreneur all of those things And the clearer I got, the more I figured out how I wanted to serve the world, how I wanted to serve, you know, my community, the people who follow me, who purchase readings from me, who who look to me for advice. And as that became clearer, I started getting extremely overwhelmed. And what I mean by overwhelmed was I talked about this on the Sunday sessions. Um, And if you are new to listen to this podcast, the Sunday sessions are Every Sunday, I come on and give you a guided message from my cha- my my guides, a channel message from my guides on IG Live on Sundays at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And sometimes I do a Q&A. Sometimes I answer um, some psychic questions there as well. Um, but I talked about this a little bit there and how for the first time, well, not for the first time. I'll, well, let's start all throughout my life. Ever since I was working, since I was 15 years old, 16 years old, I always had like a job and like a side thing. Or I was an entrepreneur full time and had multiple things going on. So that has been my life for a long time, nonstop. And so as I started to get more clear about what I was doing, how I was going to serve, I was just like, yo, 2020 is my year. Um, If you know anything about numerology and the personal year system within numerology, um, I am in an eight year right now. Um, You can look that up and find out and calculate what your um, personal year is. Um, The lucky you can follow also the lucky sage. Um, She's a friend of mine. She's going to actually be on the podcast. She's a reflector um, and she is a numerologist and so I was going into my eight year. So um, if you know anything about numerology, your eight year is the power year. It is the personal um, empowerment year. It is the year that you manifest. It is the year that you, whatever you put your mind to, you will get it um, that year. Um, you, as long as it's within alignment with who you are, all this stuff, you can go read about it. And so I was like, yes, it's going to be my eight year. I'm going to hit the ground running. Yes, I got this. And for some reason, (laughs) which we'll get to, um, there was a lot of resistance around that. And I was trying to do things and I wasn't doing them. I was starting stuff. I wasn't completing them. It was taking me a long time to do stuff. And I remember speaking to my therapist coach, what I call her, um, and 
she was, you know, saying, Hey, you know, every week we talk and it's like, you know, there's a lot of resistance. There's, you know, all of this. And I'm just like, no, everything's fine. Um, I'm good. And she was like, okay. So come January, she was giving me certain tasks to do certain things and I wasn't completing them. And our sessions were starting to be very emotional. And now I'm an emotional person in general. Um, (laughs) So let's make that clear. But, you know, she would tell me to do stuff and I wouldn't complete it. And I was just having a really hard time. And our sessions winded up me crying a lot. Um, and I'm a crier anyway, but more of a release, but it was more of a frustration cry. And finally, you know, she said to me, she's like, Hmm, did you ever possibly think that you're tired? And I was just like, what? How dare you? Me tired? Are you serious? Like, and I'm just like, coming at her heart like how dare you I'm tired what do you mean and she's just like you know well maybe you need a break and I was just like excuse me a break what is that and she's you know just like you know just a break just focus on this one thing and I said hmm how dare you and I pretty much was like verbally cursing mentally cursing her out like I'm not taking a break this is my eight year I'm supposed to hit it hard I am supposed to make all things happen I am clear on my purpose everything is going to grow great and I'm mind you I'm crying while I'm saying this to her I'm like I'm not gonna take a break and she was like okay well you think about it and you let me know (laughs) and I was just like okay I'm gonna let you know And so that night I was laying in bed and I said, hmm, maybe I do need a break. And I thought about it. I had never just done one thing. And what I mean by that, like I said earlier, I either worked a full time job and I had a side hustle or a side business and I was always doing something. I never just worked or, for instance, when I was working, going to school. I was working, then going to school, working, getting my master's, working. Also, you know, getting master's certification courses. Like I was always doing something. And so I said, okay, fine. I'm going to take a break. Fine. I'll see what this break is about, what you're talking about. And so, you know, she said, okay, let's just do for two weeks. And so I said, fine, let's do two weeks. And then two weeks rolled around and then it started feeling good. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. Like I started just feeling so much better about myself, what was going on. And then I said, all right, I'm going to take another two weeks. And then, you know, she was like, well, let me know. And so I said, okay, I think I'm going to take a longer time and I'm going to wait until, you know, my birthday, which was March 10th. And I'm just going to come back on my birthday. And I felt so good about that. Now, during this break, (laughs) what happened was pretty miraculous. Um, I, I can't even explain the amount of clarity that I got. I thought I was clear before. I am crystal clear now on who I am, um, what I do and who I serve and who I want to serve and how I want to serve. And I was pretty much mind blown because now coming back and doing the podcast, getting ready to launch my YouTube channel, changing up my products and services, um, re, you know, branding, you know, my product space business eventually during the year, um, really stepping things up. This wouldn't have happened if I kept going. And so rounding it up, the point of uh, where I'm going with all of this is sometimes you need to stop to move forward. And because I never, when I tell you guys, I never had done that. I always, anybody who knows me personally, from college to high school to after college, I always was working and had something on the side or I was an entrepreneur and I had multiple things going on. I was always doing things to keep the wheels going sometimes and not in a bad way, but because I'm, as you hear me say all the time, I'm a risk taker. I'm a huge risk taker. I'm, 
I know that before I leave this earth, um, in my older aged years, I'm going to, I'm, I try, you can't say that I don't try. So any client that's ever worked with me, anybody who's ever coached with me, had a reading for me or just who I've just poured into when I tell you to just do it and just do things and try stuff it's because that's how I operate. So with me in that midst of just trying stuff and doing things, I never not just did one thing. And so I didn't realize how beneficial it was for me to just pause, pause on posting, pause on showing up daily on the gram, pause on, you know, even certain, you know, clients, like I reduced some of my client load with like, I just really changed things up and it just made me appreciate and value more of my work and who I was and how I served people. And it just really opened my eyes to a lot of what I can be doing to change the world and how important it is for me to really take a breath and say, okay, this is not working and this is working because one thing is for sure that I learned during this break is sometimes I don't know how to let go of things. Um, because like I said, I'm going to tell people to try stuff and to keep going, um, until it works until you make it work sometimes. Um, because that's how, what I do. I try and make it work. I try and keep going. And sometimes you just have to let things go. And that's not a bad thing. It's just a healthy thing. Um, and anybody who is in this, uh, who's a service based provider who, you know, is serves people, whether it's at your corporate arena, whether it's privately as an entrepreneur, slowing down, taking a pause is going to help you more than it's going to hurt you, especially when you are a creative period when you are creating from your mind when you're creating from your soul when you're creating from spirit slowing down helps you more than it hurts you and I know for my manifesting generators I talk to you guys all about that slowing down and it's hard for you to do that um it's hard for me and I'm a projector and it's you know it's hard for me to slow down but what was able to happen was the clarity that I received from spirit and the direction that I needed to go. And uh, I can't, I just, it's so, I can't even tell you all the visions and the experiences that I had. I mean, I will eventually, but you'll see. And as I show up in the direction and the products and services, everything is changing. And I'm so happy about that. Um, because I needed a fresh start mentally. So if you are, you know, running yourself ragged, or if you are, you know, at a dead end or a crossroads, I will say taking a break will probably be the best thing for you. And with everything that's going on in the world now, we are almost forced to take breaks. And I'm actually so thankful and I feel so blessed that I was able to take my break voluntarily instead of forcefully like a lot of you all who are listening to this um because me taking it voluntarily I gave myself so much grace um and now that everyone else is having to take their break forcefully with everything going on in the world it actually like I feel like oh all right well I understand what people are going through because they don't want to slow down. They don't want to change up things. But I was able to do that, what, six weeks, eight weeks almost before this whole thing started, you know, unraveling. So I'm prepared for the change because I've already done that. I've already changed. So what I'm saying to you is that now that you have forced to slow down, forced to reroute um, you know, or plot twist, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> plot twist, like it's literally only been three months, <laughs> even though it feels like three years in the year, we have a long way to go. And, you know, I've talked about this in other places online, but now is the time to really get clear, 
to really figure out what you want, how you want to move in the world, how you want to see yourself, how you want others to see you, how you want to be experienced, how do you want to serve, you know, and for, you know, my entrepreneurs or people who are, you know, C-level executives listening to this, people are no longer going to tolerate working places they are unhappy at anymore. Um, so whatever you need to change, change it up. Um, because when, you know, after this, when we go back to our new normal, we're as a society are going to want to have a different way of being. We're going to, it's not really going to be so much anymore about the money because you're going to value your life. You're going to be like, wow, I'm alive. So if I'm going to work somewhere for this X amount of dollars and put in energy to this or that, I'm going to be happy. You guys are going to have to make sure my mental health is good here at this job. You're going to make sure my health benefits are good. You're going to make sure if a disaster happens again, that I'm going to be covered. People are not going to be settling for salaries anymore. They're going to want to make sure that their soul, that their souls are going to be taken care of as well. And it's no longer going to be enough. And I'm glad that this shift is happening because that's my purpose in life is to help you who are listening figure out where and why you belong. That is so clear for me. That is what I've been put on this earth to do. That is part of my purpose is to figure out, help others figure out where and why they belong. Um, Because that's what I've been doing all my life is figuring out where and why I belong. And I've got there. And so And I'm still going there. I'm always learning. It's always a journey. But since I know that that's how I'm supposed to help everyone else, everyone's going to be doing things differently. So I invite people now to like, hey, if you want to change your life, if you want to, you know, redirect, I can assist with that. I know that for sure now. And a break taught me that because I am able to tap in now the process might not be overnight which hopefully nobody looks for overnight success because it doesn't exist but the journey that we will go on you know working with me or whoever you decide to work with is going to be beautiful because now that you're ready and I think what this shift is helping is people who are really ready to step into their own personal power to step into their greatness to step in who who they serve like you it's do or die now and not in a way like you know I want you all to die or anything like that but what do you what really do you have to lose because at an instant you can lose your job you can you know be in a bad financial situation so why not bet on yourself like why not say okay let me go make create a plan for six months from now I want to be working part time and then working full time in my business somewhere because I understand people have bills. They have, you know, you need health insurance, all of that stuff. But I'm telling you, you can make it happen. You can live the life that you desire um, and you can re reignite your desires and make things happen. So if and that doesn't necessarily mean entrepreneurship um, because I've done both. And I've done both simultaneously, entrepreneurship and working full time. And I've just like, I've done it for years. It might have kicked my ass a little bit, but I've done it and it can be done. But creating the life that you want, putting the pieces to your puzzle together is going to be more meaningful now. So yes, if you do have a full time job that you love going to, but on the side, you have a great business that is contributing to your bottom line that's helping with your savings helping with your debt repayment saving for a house saving for your kids college or you know saving so you can you know have a pinterest inspired house or apartment you know that's what you should be doing you know what i'm saying to you all is make sure that going forward you're making the choice to live and live under your terms, to live a life that is meaningful, to live a life that is exciting, 
to live a life that you truly love, to live a life that you want to wake up to during this time that we are forced to be with ourselves, to face ourselves, to look in the mirror, you have to say, hey, who do I want to see in that reflection going forward? Does this person do this? Does this person act like this? Does this person, you know, work here or do they work somewhere else? Does this person, you know, sit on their book idea or this person actually starts writing? You have to start taking those steps. And when I talk about failing into 2020, because I had so many other ideas, I was like, oh, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But thank goodness my body was so tired that it said, hey, you need to slow down because spirit was like, we got something else cooking. It's going to be way better than what you have. And we just need you to take a break so you can hear, so you can see. And that was so hard for me. But because I did it, I'm here. I'm back. And my energy is renewed. My spirit is more enlightened from other things that the visions that I've gotten, the predictions that I've gotten, all of that stuff. And I'm just really happy to be back. Um, And like I said, I've trickled in a little bit during March, you know, and I'm going to take my time in April. But you're going to see more of me because I have a message. I have a purpose. I'm clear on that. And nothing is going to stop me from showing up anymore. Um, Nothing. No one. Um, Because I owe it not only to myself, but I owe it to anybody who needs to hear what I have to say, what spirit sends through me. So that's that, you know, but for you all listening, what are you ignoring? What are you not listening to? You know, for some people working from home has been a blessing because their work environment was toxic and you knew that it was making you sick. You were having anxiety going into the office you couldn't stand talking to your boss now you have a barrier of a zoom um you know conference room that is helping you out if that is the case you know think about that when you go back do you want to go back do you should you be looking for other work should you be trying to do something else for my entrepreneurs who you know their revenue streams have changed now Or what don't you like doing? You know, what product or service do you have that you hate doing? But yes, it brings you in money, but you hate that. So you have you have to really take an honest look. And, you know, I always talk about that. Talk about, you know, the honesty and being yourself. Now is the time to really figure out what you want. Make those lists. Check them twice. Begin to manifest the life that you truly desire Start calling in the things that you want because after this, things are going to be different. You should no longer want to live a life of struggle, um, a life of, you know, not getting what you want. Write down your desires. Write down the top 10 things that you desire, regardless of what anybody says. And look at those desires and say, I deserve this. I should have this. I need this in my life because it's going to make me feel good. Fall and lean into your desires. And we're going to talk more about that on the podcast, on my YouTube, everywhere else in my teachings, all of that. And figuring out how to get your desires, how to manifest those, how to work towards your desires, how to radically commit to your desires. Um, We're definitely going to talk about that. Um, So just prepare yourself for the awakening that's happening because this is a wake-up call for everyone everybody's who I've talked to to different clients that I work with like oh I'm never going to be in a position like this where I'm dependent on you know my job one source of income I'm never going to be in a position like this where you know I'm hearing people relationship woes like now you're really figuring out that he or she ain't really the one because you're stuck in a house with them and you really find out that you don't want to be with this person. So it's almost like the world is giving us a reset button. And after this, after we're allowed to go back outside, it's going to be up to you. Everything that you want, everything that you desire is going to be up to you. It's 
you are going, you are the only person that can get in your way at this point. Because yes, there's situations that happen that life happens of the job, money, um, certain things, health, all of that. Those are life things that happen, but your mindset and your purpose and, you know, leaning into your desires and committing to making things better for yourself. That is totally up to you. It's up to no one else, but you, you have to take the first step. Now those steps might be hard as hell, but as long as you keep on going and you keep on pushing through, it's going to be amazing. And for those of you listening who are questioning so much and about the why, um, stop looking for the why and looking for the blessing in all of this. Look for the lessons, look for the blessings. Thank spirit, thank God that they're giving you an opportunity to reset um, because we will get through this. We will overcome this and you're going to be a better human being after this. You know, I think um, I saw uh, the Cuomo say this on TV and he said, who you are right now, and I'm sure he was referring to a various amount of people, but that's who you're going to be. Um, and someone said to me, you know, when you squeeze an orange, orange juice comes out. And this time when people are squeezed, whoever comes out in this pressure, that's who they're going to be. Now, that doesn't mean you judge them, but it means that you take a mental note and you say, OK, under pressure, under this, this person's nasty or this person is not empathetic or this person doesn't care. Take mental notes of that because these the people around you, like, you know, Maya Angelou says, when people show you who they are, believe them, but you don't have to necessarily judge them. And so take mental notes of that, of how people are treating you, how are people are acting around this, not in a malicious way or not in a negative way, but just take a mental note that they can't, you know, deal with pressure well to where it is conducive with how you want to live your life. You know, I had to learn that the hard way over the last two weeks is that people, certain people who I thought had a lot of empathy did not have any empathy at all um, because they're under pressure financially. And when they are under pressure, they aren't good. And so for me, that is not conducive with how I am in general. So that just doesn't match. So going forward, I just take a mental note and I know that you know, hey, now I know how this person is when they're under pressure. And, you know, I've heard stories from uh, like, just like that from people who are dealing with, you know, bosses or friends or anything or spouses who are just not doing well under pressure. And it's not saying, you know, you just cut them out your life, but you just take a mental note. And I'm saying that to say, because everything is shifting, you know, finances, you know, stability and career is shifting. If you're a small business owner, the way you do business is shifting, Everything is shifting, how you operate, how you can deal with isolation, all of that is shifting. So just take mental notes and allow this to be a reset for you, um, for everyone, because it's going to, it's giving us the opportunity to change. And instead of us looking at this negatively, like, oh, I'm losing so much or, you know, I'm losing or this is not happening or something like that. Look at, look at, look at it as I get an opportunity to change. So with that change being said, things are changing over here now. Um, I'm going to be releasing interviews that I did last year and some this year um, in the next podcast that's coming up. So I'm going to inter- you know, release some of the interviews. I've interviewed manifesting generators, generators, um, who, a manifester, I'm doing two interviews with reflectors. So that's look forward to that. Um, I'm really excited about that. And also, if you've ever wanted to work with me at any capacity now, that's on my website. Make sure you get in where you fit in. If you wanted me and my session, me and my guide session, which is up there, um, a human design reading, um, all of that stuff. Get in where you fit in now um, because everything is changing 
Um, and so from pricing to offers to everything, um, it's all changing. So get in where you fit in, um, if you can. And, you know, I appreciate you guys rocking with me and hanging with me, um, in this time of break. Um, but I needed it and I'm back. And so expect episodes every week going forward. Um, because I'm excited about that and I have the energy for it. I'm not somewhere in a fetal position crying. So look at that. Look at God. (laughs) Um, so, um, like I said, I just want you all to take this time and really write down and visualize what you want and what you desire because you deserve every single thing that your heart desires and don't let anyone tell you differently and this reset that the universe is giving us is proof of that you can set yourself on whatever path that you choose to whether it was five years ago two years ago two months ago you get a fresh start and you deserve that fresh start and you deserve to in six months in one year to be in a different place than you are today trust me so I want to thank you all for listening. See me next week. Well, hear me next week. Um, For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. Um, Please join me for the Sunday session. We have a good time over there on Instagram at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, And if you want to work with me, definitely do that as soon as you can. And I look forward to serving you and to bringing you the realness on spiritual self-development, radical commitment, and brand innovation um, through human design, astrology, metaphysics, all of that stuff. So thank you guys, and I will see you soon. Make sure you all have a great day filled with good vibes and great energy. And remember, don't let anybody fuck with you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to another episode of Is My Aura On Straight. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at AC Brown and also check out my website for products and services at www.acbrown.com. And until we meet again, make sure you have a great week filled with good vibes and good energy.